This is a film about Air Jordans. I was buying Air Jordans as a kid as they were coming out. And it, they weren't hard to get then. I mean, if you miss when they came out, you could wait a week, two weeks, and still get a pair. Now, if you haven't gotten your ticket or you aren't standing in line, chances are you won't get them. Or you can get them on the other market and pay sometimes double, triple, quadruple the price of what they're actually worth. I don't know, I've been holding on to a lot of old pair from when I was a kid, um, originals, but they're pretty beat up and they aren't worth anything. So this is just my review of my old Air Jordans. I do have one of the original pairs of Retro 3s. Um, they're pretty beat up. Um, the original Retros actually had the Nike Air in the back. Um, it wasn't until later on, until Jumpman was created, that they put the Jumpman on the back. But the original Retros that came out sometime in 94, I think I was a freshman in college, I mean a freshman in high school, when these came out. And I tried to clean them up by putting like white out on them, but you can see all the rubber. They're all busted now. You see that? That's pretty bad. Um, so the next pair are the original Air Jordan 7s, which were considered the Hair Jordans because of the Bugs Bunny commercial. Again, these were pretty awesome, but I'll never forget the summer I had these. Um, I was going, it wasn't even the summer, I don't think, but I remember my pops making me shellac fishing poles. And he told me not to wear my nice shoes when I shellac the fishing poles, but the stains never came out. Um, but I wore these Jordans. Man, I used to school cats in these shoes, man. These were like the best. So in the summer of 92, I got the Air Jordan 7 Olympic Jordans. These resurfaced, I think, this summer, but they had a different colorway on them. But these had the number nine in the back. These were super dope at the time. Like these were one of my favorite pairs. And again, the rubber, everything is just busted on these. You can see like the little, the air pack is even cracked now. Uh, Nike, they, Nike's are great and all, but they don't last forever. Um, but these are all-time classic, original Olympic Jordans from 92. Again, another one of my all-time favorites were Air Jordan 8s. Um, these were dope because they had the straps that went across, and um, but my 23 got pretty beat up. I used to love that because it used to be shiny back in the day and I uh, tried to go over it with a uh, white out to make it white. But I'll never forget my homeboy, uh, Mike Cox. Um, he had the same pair, but he used to do this. He used to put the other strap over the 23 so that they didn't get dirty. I should have took that advice back then. But again, man, these shoes are from like the mid 90s, man. They just didn't, all the rubber is busted and crusted. Like original Air Jordan 8, size 14. Like, yeah, I used to get busy in these too, man. Look at the bottom, like. Straight up, just killing cats in driveways throughout Jackson, Mississippi. Air Jordan 9s. These came out sometime around, I wanna say my freshman, sophomore year in high school. And this pair, this style, just resurfaced this past month in the white and black colorway. But at the time, I got the off colorway with the I guess this is brown of some sort, but for some reason I wanted to be different I got these. I think I just missed out on the white pair. Um, but again, I used to school cast, like the bottom isn't even on these. These are so fresh, man. I used to love these. Air Jordan 10s, uh, I just got these in the uh, comeback white and red colorway, but these were also original. I got these, um, I think I was like a sophomore, sophomore or junior when these came out. And um, these were just so hot and fresh at the time. Um, again, I tried to go over them with like white out or white paint to uh, save the whiteness, but I use these in the gym, I use these in sand lot, I use these in driveways, just wherever. But also too, they redid the toe on them because the original toe had that stitching and it had all this line, but now it's like a pretty awesome crushed leather that they use. But these were dope because it had his accomplishments on the bottom. And I don't know, this is always a dope pair too. I got the classic Michael Jordan tie. I don't know too many cats who had this. Um, I used to wear this every Sunday to church. Like, this was my staple. It had a signature on the back. The classic Michael Jordan tie. 
for years I held on to these shoes because they had a lot of sentimental value and now that sentimental value is just gone mainly because they've come out with so many retros that are worth way more money than these and these are just in horrible condition so it's really no need to really have these shoes anymore so I'm ditching them I'm finally throwing them away after man almost 20 years of having them you know like I bought all these shoes when I was 12, 11, 13, 14, 15 you know and that was 20 years ago at this point so it's time to just let them go. Um, I really enjoyed them. I still love the Jordan brand, but I don't, I'm not a sneakerhead the way I used to, at least not an Air Jordan head. I still got a couple pair, but I don't know, I'm slowly letting it go.